Hi friends, it's a beautiful day in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. I wanted to start today's video by showing you that I found another use for my favorite magnets. I've showed you before several uses for these magnets, but uh, here's this one. The problem is that the wind blows the cover off of my car. So, I put these magnets on here. One on each corner. And the wind hasn't blown it off since. There's another thing I have to take care of today, and that is that I'm going to go to the water company and report that there's a break in a pipe out here in the Pravada. Um, the weeds are loving the water. I've reported this a week ago, and my neighbor also reported it, left messages on the emergency number, and no response. There's a broken white pipe down in there. So I'm going to go report that for the third time, and probably pay my bill while I'm down there. So, I thought we'd go for a ride today. Avocados. Guacamole just falls out of the sky all over my yard. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. This is the avocado tree that we trimmed a uh, year and a half ago, and it kind of took last year off, but this year, it's making up for it with hundreds of huge avocados. I've parked here at the Farmacia Guadalajara because the water company for Ajijic is on the back side of this block. And I parked in front of the water company, but there wasn't any place to park until I got all the way up here. Well, today I thought while I'm doing my errands and uh, taking you for a ride that I would just answer some questions and comments from my YouTube channel while we're walking along today. So here's one. Do you have any idea how much a one-bedroom rental is? No, and I'm not a rental agent, 
nor am I a realtor. My suggestion is always that you Google Points South Chapala Edition dot com and you will find a real estate magazine that has the contact information for every realtor in town and lots of them have um, the answers to that question and a lot of them have a rental desk so that's how you would find information about real estate in Ajijic, Mexico pointssouth.com Chapala edition. Buenas tardes. Hola, Hola pagar, para mí. Agua. Uh, 1393 pesos. $63, and that would be for about, I think I paid it in. March, so this is for five months, maybe sixty three dollars. Well, I thought I would drive you up to the top of the hill in Rancho del Oro today. Rancho del Oro, the ranch of gold, I guess that would mean. Actually, there's some. Uh, old gold mines up here. There's one house that actually is built over the mouth of an old gold mine. Um, I think gold mine might uh, be a little a bit of an exaggeration. It's actually a hole back into the mountain. And there's another place up here where you used to be able to walk up there, but it's private property now and it's gated. You can't go there anymore. There was a mine shaft that had a big sign on it that said, don't go in there because of poisonous gas. And that's way up at the top of the hill in Rancho del Oro. Well, how about another Q&A? Here's one. How do you convert exchange rates easy for non-math people what is the cost of internet cell phone service? Uh, to check the exchange rate between the US dollar or the Canadian dollar or any two currencies in the world, um, the US dollar and the peso is what I check nearly every day. And I do that on a website, xe.com. It's very simple. The letter X the letter E, X-E, dot com. And you have to set it up for which two currencies you want to compare, but you will find very detailed information about all the currencies in the world. It's up to date, and in my experience, it's always very accurate up to the minute for the current exchange rates between currencies. Uh, the cost of cell phone and internet service, my telephone, my landline, which includes uh, DSL service, it's about uh, 28 megabits down. Um, it's 400 pesos, which is about $20 US, and it's part of my phone bill. My whole phone bill is uh, 882 pesos a month, which is like forty dollars and that includes uh, Mexican dish network which is about ten dollars of it and my um, cell uh, internet service which is uh, about twenty dollars of it and the rest is just my regular charge for my landline uh, incidentally, if you have a landline, a home phone in Mexico, there is no extra charge to call uh, the United States. Uh, cell service. Uh, I have Telcel, and it's a pay, as, pay in advance system. And uh, you just put uh, pesos on it in advance as needed, and it costs about... 10 cents a minute. Um, 
and uh, that also gets you internet on your cell phone as well. I don't know what it costs. Um, I never pay any attention to it. I spend about, oh, I put about 300 pesos a month on my cell phone, which is like $15. And I don't use it very much, but that's what I do. And it accumulates. If you don't use up your pesos, you have like, used to be 90 days. I think it's a year now where if you go and get some more credits again, you get back whatever you didn't use before. So it's a pretty good deal. Dog content. The question, can you pay with a credit card? He didn't say pay for what, but the answer is probably yes. 20 years ago when we came down here, you couldn't pay for anything with a credit card. Um, had to go to an ATM and get cash, and it was a total cash economy. Today, many, many places, most places, you can pay with a credit card. Even small businesses have that handheld thing that hooks up to the internet and takes your card. Credit or debit. There are places like the hardware store usually, where they will charge you an extra 3%. Um, the pharmacy does that. The pharmacy that I go to charges an extra percent for using a credit card as opposed to paying effectivo uh, cash. This lady says, I'm curious about insurance coverage for medical cost, is it all out of pocket or does Medicare help out? Medicare does not pay anything at all outside of the United States of America. If you have a Medigap or a Medicare supplement, sometimes it will pay for emergency services. I have one, um, a Medicare uh, supplemental policy. It pays twenty thousand U.S. dollars for emergency medical services anywhere in the world, but Medicare itself doesn't pay outside of the United States. Uh, we also have uh, government health insurance here in Mexico. It's called IMSS, and we pay about four hundred dollars a year per person for that. Um, you can also get private uh, health care for private care here in Mexico, and that's about $2,500 a year per person is a ballpark figure. Um, it's going to be different depending on you, your medical history, your pre-existing conditions, your age, etc. So $2,500 is a ballpark. It doesn't mean anything about you and your medical history. This isn't a question, but I think it's important for those of you who think you might like to move to Mexico to know. He says, I'm Mexican, and I'm happy that U.S. citizens come here to live. This is your country, no matter your race or the country where you come from. Feel free to live here. Mexicans have a saying, and the saying is, we Mexicans can be born anywhere we want. And what that means is, you can be a Mexican no matter where you were born. Thanks for watching today. If you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.